to another video. So today we're actually doing a mod that we should have done when we first bought the car. Um, but nonetheless, we're going to be doing it today. So thankfully, AdW1 had sent us out an oil catch can kit for the Veloster N. So it has its own special bracket to uh, make it look good in here. And this is also going to be a two port catch can, meaning that it's going to connect to the PCV and the intake side. So this can is going to do the job of two. I'm really excited to see how it looks in the engine bay and really excited just to start helping maintain the engine a little bit better with catching whatever excess blow by is getting thrown into the, the intake manifold and through the, to the intake system. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start unboxing everything and showing you guys what the kit comes with and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so I had to went ahead and installed the little adapters in, um, put a small piece of Teflon around just to kind of help with the leakage, like I said. So um, next thing on, so yeah, first things first, what we're gonna go ahead and do is I kind of jumped ahead of myself. I wanted to go ahead and get these put on first, but it says to go ahead and remove the engine cover. Sorry for the wind. And uh, to remove the OEM bolt by the coolant reservoir. And we are going to use the new bolts that they supplied to hold down the bracket so um, I'm gonna go ahead I don't honestly ha run the car with an engine cover anyway so no big deal on taking that off but if you do just uh, gently prop prop it off there's a few there's a few couple little posts right here that hold the engine cover in and um, yeah you just kind of lift it up and it'll pop right off so I'm gonna go ahead and start off by removing that bolt right here and getting the uh, sorry that it's dirty but getting the bracket uh started and see how it looks okay so the 10 millimeter bolt is removed and we went ahead and used the supplied allen screw with the ren additized washer for the mounting bracket so this is how the mounting bracket sits on here um clears the coolant line there's no issues at all with it so there's not going to be any rubbing we're going to go ahead and remove the two screws on top of the uh, catch can and mount the catch can onto the bracket now. All right, so next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to remove the PCV hose right here. So we're going to loosen this clamp. This clamp's a little bit more of in a tighter area, so I'm going to try to get some needle nose in there pick up on it and get that out of the way and move on to the next step and quick little tip for anybody um, depending on you know how old the engine is is sometimes these plastics and the lines can get a little bit of brittle and kind of cooked onto the fitting so what I like to do is just get a pair of pliers real quick and uh, put it around here very lightly and just kind of just give it a little twist to break the seal and it'll make popping these off just a lot more easier so remove the top one to kind of get me a little bit more access and get this bottom one. all right so now that i have that removed what i'm going to go ahead and start off by doing is i'm going to get the uh, pcv side routed up to the catch can so the pcv is going to go from here right into this port in port so as you can see this is the single port it's going to go right into here and the two ho the single hose that they give us the thin diameter it is going to be i don't have 
the size that they include, but pretty much the smaller size hose is what's gonna be going on to right here. So we're gonna go ahead and start getting everything hooked up and I'll go ahead and show you after everything's installed what we did. All right guys, so I have everything uh, hooked up. Um, so they include plenty of hose for you to route these in any way that you want to kind of hide it um, the way that you want. So what I had did is um, I had gotten my tubing cutters and I routed it the way that I kind of wanted it. Uh, they show on the instructions that you can go this way and route it over here and then bring it in. But I kind of wanted to, I don't run an engine cover, so I kind of wanted to keep everything somewhat clean over here. So I'm trying to see how I want to route this and we'll go, I'm going to go from there. But pretty much this is uh, the kit. Very, very nice. Um, no complaints about it. I'm very happy with how it looks. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get everything tied with the hose clamps. And... All right, guys. So install is complete on the AdW1 V3.3 catch can. Um, I didn't mention earlier in the video that this is the V3.3, but um, pretty much the difference is going to be that this is a two port. And like I said, it takes the care of the job of intake and PCV side. And you only need one catch can rather than running like two, one over here, one over there, or making it kind of look a little messy. So as you can see, with all the clamps on, the kit looks extremely well put together um, and just, you know, really nice in the engine bay. Kind of just gives it a little bit more... Uh, you know the personality when you open up the engine bay so it's it's nice to see something um that like this that adw1 is making for the community really nice and really look forward to go ahead and you know just maintaining a nice clean engine with this so really thinking about maybe in the future uh routing this together and getting rid of the breather um and just ordering the 15 millimeter t from adw1 and a few more of the clamps but uh i'll make a separate video when i go ahead and decide to do that but as of now i just want to say thank you for everybody for just watching i hope that this video helped a few people out and uh hope it helps make your decision easier when you guys are looking for a catch can so yeah thanks again and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys on the next one